So we'll get straight into it. So Ruben, how's everything for you this week, my man? Yeah, it's going all right. Thanks, bro. I do actually have a couple questions for this week. Um, so yeah, so um I've been working on school like a madman, and I definitely think I've overdone it, but I guess it's like it's all right. Um, I you know, I'd probably rather overdo it than underdo it. But with that said, um I'm trying to come up with like a low ticket offer for when people give the bullshit excuse that I'm oh, not bullshit, but like, you know, if someone can't afford, you know, 90 or seven dollars a week, like I'm trying to think of a low ticket offer with trainerized and with school together, that would be semi-automated. And I'd say like, look, like I, I want to help you out. I can do it for 40 bucks a week, 30 bucks a week. Yeah. You get, you know, an educational platform included and you'll learn so much as well as a training program on trainerize. Yeah. What do you think I should make that number one and number two? How do, how much do you think I should charge for it? Yeah, cool, good question. So I'd have a pretty low back at, uh, barrier ticket to entry for these situations as well. They don't really want PT, but they want help. Um, I would say if, if they're not going for anything, but they want the help, especially if they've approached you, are these people that have come to you or you're getting them, like what kind of leads are these? Yeah, I mean, these are these are people that have come to me and then they expect personal training to be $30 for an hour. Sure. You know? So. Yeah, cool. So, yeah, they're hot leads and they want something. Yeah. Um, I When I was in that situation, I was doing 40 bucks a week. Okay. Um, but you got to just dwindle it down to how much time you're going to put into each person as well. Now, I know they're thinking about, oh, yeah, only was going to spend 30, 40, 50 bucks. Um, just be mindful of that depending on how you've systemized everything and set up all these online components, if you're spending 10 minutes a week on someone or 20 minutes, yeah, or 40, 50 bucks, sure. Um, but if it turns out to a 30 minute check-in or you've got to update that program every week, then yeah. that's when you just- no, so, so the way it would be done is that it'd only be done, that only be chucked on cookie gutter 12 to 14 week programs and that have basically no check-in from me uh, you may maybe a chuck in, check in once every couple of weeks um, that have access to school and that'd be it. So basically just be fully automated. Yeah, um, easy. Yeah, I, personally, I would do that. 40, 50 would be like high ticket, but especially if they're averaging coming to you, I'm looking for 40 bucks, 30, 40 bucks. Okay. They want help. They've come to you. They want help. They're expecting to pay something, yeah? For sure. Well, well, what do you think the offer should be and how do you think I should structure it so it doesn't just sound like, oh, you know, because obviously school and trainer as for like us, we know how fucking good it is. Like it really is good. But do you think like, how do you think I should say? Because I'm just going to say, oh yeah, like pay me 40 bucks a week for the next 10 weeks. And I basically do no work because all the work's done. But like, yeah. How yeah, do you I think can... I should structure it? Sure. So you could set up a mini PowerPoint um, saying, look, we're going to, you, you're coming for help. Obviously, um, what I would do is I say, look, we can do the online component. Um, they still want to see, usually they still want some component of catching up with you. Um, just for an update, hey everyone. So now it's tough. They're either going to be taking the Monday uh, masterclass q and I'm the first one on board. So hello to everyone, all new faces that I'm not familiar with. We'll get around to everyone. Um, we are rock and rolling. And no more of this waiting around five minutes, 10 minutes for everyone to catch in. I think Ray, you were here last Friday when I said that. As soon as we're on board, as soon as we start these webinars, we're rocking. Yeah, so if anyone that comes first, we speak to, we help out first. And if you're missing a little bit of content, then it's a matter of um, just getting to it as soon as you can. So just a little quick update for everyone. But yeah, uh, Ruben, uh, look, yeah, I would do a mini PowerPoint. And then essentially, People still want to catch up with you, but you gotta you're shortening the time. You could be like, look, we're only gonna catch up for five, 10 minutes. You can do it every two weeks or once a month, but I'm gonna still be programming for you because they want help. You say you're still gonna get the programming. We can do it, we're still gonna do like a little check-in and do your weight. Um, and then they get essentially just the online component. So you can give them boxer if you want again. Um, because that's what a minute, two minute check-in depending on how much they're doing it. How I would used to do it is, yeah, they do the online. So they're getting the tra online training. They're getting the Voxer. Because uh, you said trainerize. What was the other thing? Trainerize and... Well, just trainerize in school. So I might yeah. just use like the voice comms in trainerize. The only thing is if yeah. they're chewing my balls off with questions. Do you think that'll happen or not? 
Oh, Jimmy Fox are fruit question. <laughs> Voxer. Uh, yeah, that's the other thing. That's why I did Voxer because Voxer was a quick like voice message. Yeah. Going to write everything out. You can do school. Um, obviously, you'll be able to keep them accountable through train rides because school, it's up to them. Yeah. The the well, the thing is, if I'm doing check-ins, I'm actually happy to do check-ins because it'd probably take, you know, if I had 10 clients, 30 minutes a day. But it's like I'd have to charge 40 then. I wouldn't be able to charge 30. Yeah, I'd go 40 personally. 40 is okay. like the lowest of the lows. And even even if they can't afford if they can't afford that, then it's just, I guess, just say, look, look uh, yeah. I get, well, I'll give you a PDF. I'll give you a PDF for yeah. 100 bucks. Yeah, the lower is, look, how about a once-off? I take you through program, take yeah. you to the gym. Because these are people that, well depending on the person if they're not familiar with the gym so i'll take you through the gym um we do a once off and then what i would do to sweeten it i'll I'll give you two weeks of accountability after we're not going to catch up yeah um so if you're stuck on anything i can verbalize it take you through it and then you're rocking off most people will say yeah that's better along my lines of what i need and then half the time at the end of that accountability you can check in try i would maybe three days before it's finished if they've kept up the communication Say, hey, let's just catch up 10 minutes, see how you're going, catch up, and then say, okay, cool. Well, how'd you find all of that? Um, do you want to reconsider, you know, doing some sort of continuous work, even if it's every two weeks to four weeks? Because you've seen how I worked now. Sometimes I'll say yes. You know, 50 yeah, for sure. Well, actually, yeah. Yeah, well, thanks for that. So I think, yeah, I'll do $40 and just do everything you said. So thanks for that, bro. Yeah, that's right. Easy. Cool. Cheers. Jack, let's come to you, my man. How are you? How's everything your end? Yeah, good. Not too bad. Um, at the moment, I'm just trying to get my uh, uh, active members list off my manager because yeah. um, I'm at a pretty big gym. Like, there's about four thousand members, and there's only like two or three active PTs. The others just do their ten hours a week and sort of go home. Yeah, wanting to get that, which I'm expecting at least you know a couple of thousand members on that. Um, and I feel like once I get that, I should be good for leads for the next couple of weeks. But it's been like two weeks trying to get that list off the manager yeah it's a bit annoying that should be yeah. like a 20 minute if that job from them yeah. they, yeah. they have access to it is it what's that sorry do they have access to it is them- yeah, yeah. He, he said it, uh yeah i asked a couple of weeks ago and i was like oh do you reckon you could get a, this list for me he's like yeah no problem and then i left it a few days and i went back oh, five days later i was like oh is it better if i just sort of give you my email and you can like email it to me he's like yeah it'd work better um and then a couple of days went past i didn't hadn't said anything and he came up to me he's like oh yeah i'll get that list to you today which was on friday just gone yeah. um and at the, that point i was sort of ready to give up and i was going to go to like that floor to floor strategy with the clipboard and all that sort of stuff yeah um, but then he said that so it sort of gave me new hope so i'm just gonna wait and see what he does for today i'll go in and ask him again um but it's kind of confusing because the guy i've been going to he's like the manager i guess um, but the real manager only just got back from um, being on sick leave, so I'm going to go to him instead. I think today. Okay. Is he the yeah. field manager? Uh, I don't even like to be honest. I don't even know what he is. Like he's there every day. He's classified as the manager, but he's not like on the okay. the uh, the board of like staff and stuff like that. I don't know if he's got some sort of connection to the owner or something like that. But yeah, yeah. Okay. seems deals with everything. Yeah. Yeah, could be tricky because he could just be holding off until the boss comes in and then yeah. changing it up from there. There's a few things to consider. Um, yeah, well, so had Simon say to just give the floor to the floor a go? Yeah. yeah, I've been messaging him in the past sort of week and he said just give that a go. Um, and like I should get a fair few names off that today. It's just about actually doing it, which is the hardest part for me because um, yeah. it's pretty busy at the gym I'm at. Like there's constant, well, at least... I don't know, 50 people in there at all the time. Um, so probably should give that a go today. Yeah, I'd give that a go. I'd definitely yeah. go floor to the floor while you're waiting. Obviously, this guy's just sitting on his hands with it. Yeah. It's a matter of asking him nice, nicely every day. But if the other guys come on board, then obviously it's yeah. talking it to him. So, hey, look, blah, 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 ask such and such. He, did, he didn't come through. Um, obviously, you're the actual manager. So yeah. what do I need to do? be able to do this when me in those situations i always gave something to the manager as well to try and because you know you ask for something you want to try and offer them yeah. even yeah. as like hey i'd always be like hey is there anything more i can do for the gym to help out but, oh no you're doing yeah. heaps okay 
well then i'd just like get them a coffee offer them hey what do you drink coffee blah 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 be nice yeah. and, okay cool um oh actually would i be able to ask for you know this list of people yeah. then he's in yeah. a good mood okay you got him saying that yeah sure i can give that to you jack or on the other side he'll give you an honest answer why he might not be able to and then you've got exposure as to why it hasn't happened yet yeah, yeah. i mean yeah the other guy seems like it's fine it's just he's very slack i guess yeah. He's more worried about chatting to members and all that sort of stuff. Yeah. So yeah. I would definitely rock and roll for the floor because at least you're not waiting. The last thing you want to be doing is waiting for stuff. you got to grow your business. It's, it's unfortunately, you can't wait for other people to do it. Yeah. Um, yeah. As Ray said, gym management loves us cleaning up the gym. Yeah. That's like yeah. A so, thing. so I've been doing that a lot because the other PTs don't do it at all. I've yeah. been walking around in my spare time, but they don't really notice or anything. But um, I've been trying to do that a lot. People notice. People know yeah. that even the members, the clientele, they know yeah. Well, yeah. Oh, this PT actually, you know, does stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, no, no, good. Yeah, definitely. Floor the floor, yeah. but then chase up the other manager about it. But yeah, try and sweeten it. Try and give him something. Yeah. Okay, cool. So just, hey, can I have this? <laughs> yeah. right, fair enough. Thank you. Easy as Jack. Kaya, you had your hand up. I saw first, and then Andy will come to you. What's happening? Welcome back. I haven't seen you for a while. Yeah, it's been a while. Um... I just got a quick little thing to say, um, mainly just towards yourself, um, but I'm actually going to transfer gyms. Yeah. So I'm at four, as you know, but then I'm now going to go to Jeff's. Um, that's mainly because now there's going to be seven PTs here at four. So there's another three starting up. Yeah. Um, and um, then at Jeff's, I think there's... I think there's two at the moment and they're both males and one of them being um, specifically for comp prep. So it's only, technically, it's only just one, I guess, other PT who um, will do like the general fitness and like health well-being and that. Yeah. Um, so in that, yeah, just because like seven at four is a lot. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, a couple of ways to look at it. If, yeah, well, I went to Windsor and there was 10 PTs, but I was the only one there running these strategies and yeah, I was thriving. Um, yeah. Poor could be the same, but the flip side of poor, only because I'm familiar with it, is that obviously Porsche and KJ worked with me. So they know yeah. not all the strategies, they know a couple, which yeah. obviously can affect you. So Jeps, yeah, I'd say it's wise, could be a wise move, especially as only three yeah. PTs. Packed gym, packed. Like yeah. Mental. So yeah, could you make it work there? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Because um, I was getting, um, I was like looking at it, and I was getting maybe one lead every two weeks. Like it was horrible. The leads even here from the automatic signups from people signing up and raf. Yeah, yeah. So I was getting like one to two leads. Ah, from people opting in for a PT to contact them from those lists. Yeah, yeah. Uh, small. Yeah. All right. Um yeah, well, mind you, there's a couple of things to consider. The strategies will work. That uh, floor of the yeah. floor do really well at Derrimits. But yeah, the other negative is that yeah, Porsche and KJ are there and they know some of the strategies. So look, I would say um Jeps would be a wise move if you're gonna transfer there. Yeah. Uh, would be a wise move. Only because not so much, I don't look at how many PTs are there, but because those PTs aren't familiar with some of the strategies. Like Kate Porsche knows the lead box. They know the post to power stuff, which is, you know, good ways to get passive leads on our end of things. So you go to Jeps. Yeah. Jeps will be like Windsor. When I went to Windsor, you'll put your uh, uh, lead box out there or competition box. Mm. That thing will just get stacked in one night. Yeah. I went to Windsor. We now have like 12,000 members and 10 PTs and my lead box was full in one night. And I would have like, yeah, all these people to call up. Um, I just wasn't there for that long to maximize. So I think you'll do really well in Jeps. Um, yeah. Market there, especially if you're like one of the only other gen pop mm. female trainers. Uh, so yeah, I'd be saying it's a wise move. When are you going to plan to do that? Well, I spoke to Maria about it and she's actually in the process of like doing the transfer. Um, and I went there, I went there yesterday and today and I already got like just three people who just came up to me. I, I haven't put anything up there yet, um, but I've already had three people already like interested. So I um, just gave them my contact details and two of them have 
like actually contacted me. So I've got consults with both of them um, like this week. So that's, yeah, already like a good start, I guess, like just even just walking in and like I was just there for like a couple of hours, just kind of walking around in a way, just showing myself and then also introducing myself to people. And yeah, um, yeah already got like two people already interested. So without any like posters or advertisement. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, sounds good. You know, I would, sounds like a good move. Can be, how much of a drive is it there for you from where you're at, where you're at? Where you're um, uh, it's probably just an extra, like, 10 minutes. That's fine. No issue at Yeah. All. That's yeah. fine. Yeah, like, I've got, yeah, it's it's pretty good location-wise. Like, I've got um, my other place that I stay as well, like, at Mum's on the other side. So, it's, yeah, it's, like, in the middle. When you do it, when you do transfer, who's the manager at Jeps? Shah. Shah's the manager. Okay, cool. <laughs> uh, she actually the manager there still. She's still the manager. Yeah, she's still she's still yeah. Yep, still she's in charge, yeah. She won't be there that often. She's always at uh, um, Windsor having meetings. Yeah, I never I actually never really see her at all. I haven't seen her at Jeps, so <laughs> So get be on a make sure you're on a good side. Um uh that, that should be fine i'm just thinking depending on how green the manager is is how much uh you can do in regards to marketing so yeah. i'm just thinking the first strategy you want to do is obviously walk the floor and just getting to know everyone which i know you're really good at yeah. get poster up design your poster and get that up straight on the board with the qr yeah. that's the first thing you want to do and then uh two strategies well do that first just do that, yeah, before I rock and roll with everything else. Get that done. Do the transfer. Get the post okay. job. Start walking the floor. Be the best thing you can do. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Easy. Yeah. Thank uh, you. Yeah, then come to me once you've settled in because, yeah, yeah. I know the structure and generally how Derrimit works and from a PT's perspective. So, yeah, yeah. You'll, you'll be fine. Easy. Thank you. Easy. Yeah, kind of, no, let's go rock and roll. Andy, you got your hands up, my man. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. Bob, okay. what's happening? Yeah, good. Um, I, well, I just started last week, so I'm still oh, early days. Um, program. I thought you were a new you. First, first Monday one. So, nice. Um, I've got a, I've got a session in about ten minutes, so I won't be too long. Okay. Yep. Sure. Um, I did. I started like floor to floor last week, and then, I know it's like super early days. I'm just having a lot of difficulty, like getting. I didn't get anyone. I spent about two hours in total, combination of like front desk and walking the gym. Um, I did message Simon over the weekend and he got back to me this morning just saying send a send a voice note of kind of what you're saying it's probably something in delivery but just a lot of like when I was standing at the desk just trying to make like a lot of people just walk in headphones on just like yep. looking pretty miserable <laughs> like don't even make eye contact with you and then if if I got eye contact I'd always just be like you know pretty much following the script just making it a bit my own um, but I don't know if anyone had, like you or anyone had come across Anything similar or any tips for like getting started with that? Because yep. I know it's, so I probably doing spoke to about 30, 35 people maybe. And yep. yeah, I didn't get any. Sure. Okay. I'm on the gym floor. I'm training. I've just finished my set. You've come up to me with the clipboard and go. Exactly. Hey, sorry to interrupt you. I know you're working out, so I won't keep you too long. Um, at Fitness First this week, we're doing a member giveaway on opportunity to win like a six week mind and body overhaul. All you've got to do to enter is just enter your name and details below. Yep. Um, sound good? Or no, I took something on there. Yeah, nothing to lose. Sound good? Yep. Cool. Yeah, with, a bit of bet, with a bit more upbeat delivery than that. But yeah. yeah. <laughs> cool. Easy. Shorten it. Smiley, simple. Yep. Yeah. Shorten it, make it simpler. I ran it a few weeks ago, maybe about yeah. three weeks ago. And I think out of everyone, I maybe five people wouldn't put their name down. Sean, even sweeten it anymore. Say, hey, Nathan, how are you? How's training? Good. Yep, awesome. We're running a competition. Six weeks of, you know, I was shortening it even more of essentially free PT with myself. Do you want to enter? Yeah. So, yes or no? All right. Yeah. Um, and I was like, oh, yeah, sure. And was, oh, they'll say, oh, what, what do I need to do? Name and details. Um, yeah, it's free. Uh, Sean, yeah. even if people aren't there, they don't want to, you know, oh, what's this PT one? Um, we're always make sure you're saying, yeah, as you said, fitness first, we're running a competition Always we, yeah. it's coming from the gym. Hey, um, I would say, Hey, sorry to stop training. I'll keep it quick. 
Uh, we're running competition, six weeks free PT, one-on-one -on -one with myself. Would you like to enter? Yes or no? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, sure. no, that, I yeah. I didn't, I mean, shorten it's definitely something to do. I, I tried a few where I was like trying the, the package and then I switched a few where I was just like free PT. And yep. it was like, <laughs> still people like that. Um, so yeah, probably something delivery. I'm sure it's like practice, but yeah. yeah. You do, I do six weeks free PT. Or I do six weeks um transformation. I yeah. mix between the two. I yeah, try and split tests, see what gets better. People saying yes. I say, oh, six weeks free PT, or we're doing a six week uh transformation competition. Would you like yeah. to enter? And I say, oh, what's that? What do you get? You get six weeks free with myself and yeah. ongoing help. So I'd say, yeah, transformation would be better because they're like, oh, what what's what's the transformation? This, this, this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. the whole spill if you get into too much detail people are like oh no nah, no thanks <coughs> excuse me but if you leave it pretty vague yeah. oh, they'll inquire about it which means oh they're you know they're interested so yep all you gotta do is enter <coughs> and that's it name and details yeah yeah that's why i had a few like someone like oh what's involved i was like yeah six weeks free free pt we'll do a bit of nutrition we'll look at xyz um but yeah so Yep. I say essentially we're getting, we're going to help you get from where you are now to where you want to be. Look over your goals and make sure you hit them. All yeah. these are along the lines. Yeah. Instead of being like, oh, you're going to get PT, you're going to get nutrition accountability, you're going to get this. And it's like, we're going to help you with your goals and get you from where you are now to where you want to be, whether that's lose weight, gain muscle, however you want to go about yeah. it. A bit more vague yeah. instead of so yeah. detailed. Now, like, oh, okay, cool. Yeah. <laughs> that makes yeah, sense. It doesn't sound like as much as well, then, does it? Like, it doesn't sound like they can do a lot of work, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, because you say, oh, you get a training program, you get nutrition. They'll be like, oh, yeah, you know, the usual things. Yeah. So we're going to help yeah, yeah. you get from where you are now to where you're going to be, um, yeah. where you want to be. Um, does that sound good for you? Yeah, okay. Yeah. That yeah. Good. I'll do that. Yeah, no, that's cool. Yeah, I'll try definitely shortening it a lot. I think it was just like over the weekend spending chatting to that many people and not getting one bite. I was like, oh, this is all good. Yeah. <laughs> I, know, really I know it's early days, but yeah, still yeah. looking at it. All good. Usually it comes down to delivery. Yeah. So yeah, okay, cool. shorten it, be a bit more vague with it. So they're yeah. more inquisitive. That's fine. Yeah. Awesome. All right. Nice one. Here we go. No, it's Andy. Cheers. Catch you later. Brooke, you got your hand up. What's happening? <coughs> Excuse me. There you go. Tanya says she has, says she says free PT as well. So yeah, either or works. Whatever sounds better, coming off the tongue from you. Yes, Brooke, what's happening? Um, I I am struggling to just even pitch my services to people at the moment. Like I had such a strong start. And all my consults last week, I literally sat there and almost like chickened out of even getting to the pitch deck um, or the, the presentation. And I don't know if it's like imposter syndrome of actually the possibility of having full books or um, me being scared to get rejection or something like that. But, yeah, I'm literally sitting there in my consults and not even offering my services. Like I'm just kind of finishing them early and being like all right well yeah yeah cool so good glad to help so, you i'll see you later i'll see you in the gym and that's it and they're like oh okay cool thanks she's not gonna sell me anything what a nice pt yeah um because in my first uh like two weeks i was just selling and it was great and now in the next like last week i just didn't even try and I don't know why it's like I sit there in the console and get overwhelmed and I'm like yeah nah yeah cool so with your first two weeks well where did those leads come from and where did they come from the last week uh, so the first two weeks people were coming up to me and then these ones are probably people I've called which is yeah yeah so you've called are they just uh people that have join the gym and then you've got their details or mias yeah sure so obviously yeah so does it kind of stem from there where people are opting in to chat to you so these people definitely want help because they've asked me so they've organized this meeting versus me reaching out to them and then it's like okay well i'm feeling this person doesn't really want my help but i've offered it to so i feel a bit bad 
trying to sell them something when they haven't asked for it. Is that along the right lines of us? Yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah. Actually, I hadn't actually considered it, but it makes sense. Yeah, so it usually stems from where. That's why I ask. So obviously the first two have asked for you. And look, I used to have this problem a lot. People um, asking for PT, they're easy to sell to because they've asked. They want to work with you to some capacity. So, okay, well, this is what we do. Which one suits you best? Bang, gold, silver, done. Versus you've got reached out you've got them in so there's that little bit of hesitancy where okay well i've reached this person's in front of me because i've gone for them they've still accepted to seeing you you got to remember that they've still rocked up they've answered the phone they said yeah i'll meet up with you and then they've agreed they've actually rocked up remember there's a lot of barriers there some people don't answer their phone and then some people say oh no i'm not interested and then the third thing is some people won't show up but they've ticked all of them ticked all of them so there's something inside them that say no i want some sort of help from brooke or pt or whoever ray whoever's reached out to me i want to meet up with this pt because there's something they can do for me yeah so that's a big thing you got to try and remember in those situations because i used to struggle a lot with that i used to do the whole okay cool i just helped you do a squat better so you'll get stronger i'll see you in the gym later bye because oh okay yeah that's it bye um so that's where, and look, you're going to get people that say, oh, no, thanks. I'm not interested. That's just how it is. But on the flip side of those people, at least they know, oh, okay, well, this is, if I want more help, which Brooke has just helped me, then I know what the barrier is. Yeah. And then you'll get a percentage of those people that will come back to you because they know what the price is because when they do want PT or they want to get that next level up. And I said, well, I know what Brooke's deal is. I'm going to come with her. She's helped with me before. Um, so... Yeah, it is a bit of a mindset thing that, but you just got to remember those people have, you know, agreed to sit down with you and hear you out about whatever you can do for them. I've had people rock up and say, no, nah, I'm pretty happy with everything. Um, I just want to see what you can do or what you can do for me. And I always manage to figure something out um, and then say, cool. And then it's a matter of, again, the end process that we all know. How'd you find that? Was that good? You learned something? Yeah, that was really good. Cool. All right. So you like working with this? You like working this method, learning new things? Yeah, yeah, cool. I'll show you what we do to see if it interests you. If you want to learn more things and grow a bit more at a faster pace as you just did. Bang, you know, it's our presentation. And whether they say, oh, actually, that sounds good. Yeah, I've been thinking about getting some more help. And, you know, you've just proved it to me that it's worthwhile. Or actually, no, it's not for me right now. That's fine. You know, either way, yes or no is fine. Obviously, we prefer yes, but no isn't a no. It's a it's just a no right now. It doesn't mean it will be a no in a few weeks, in a month, the two months when they go back to not getting the results they want. And they're like, okay, yeah, maybe I should, you know, hit up Brooke again. Especially if you have them, if you add them on, you know, the socials, so they still keep seeing your posts, or you add them to the database and you do the bulk blasts. So you're messaging every now and then, you know. You're still giving them some advice, still giving them a tip, some tips. They'll come back to you. You just gonna well, you want to be that person they eventually come back to. You. As I always say, the slow burn clients, slow burn members. You're not gonna get people that say yes right now, but you will get people that say yes in a few weeks, in a month's time. I've had people that say no now and then they're a gold like six months later. But that's the slow burn. That's part of this business. You want a big list of slow burns. I would rather, you know, obviously you need some people that join now, but I'd rather have this huge list of names that are slow burn that are going to start dribbling in over time because I've tried to sell them. I've shown them the service and they've said, no, not right now. But if I have a big list then, then, you know, then some of them are going to come over. Does that make sense? Yeah. I just need to get over that hurdle and start showing it to them. I suppose just... Yeah, yeah. It, just remember when you're going in, you get that, oh, okay, you know, I'm a bit worried about showing, do they actually want her? Well, they just proved it to you because they showed up and they went through a session for it. They do want her. They want some sort of help. You've got to remember that. If they didn't well, didn't show up, they didn't want her. So, oh, they did show up to this. So all you're doing is offering more help. Just remember that. I'm going to show you, essentially, you're just changing the wording. I'm going to offer you more help now but this is the investment if you want more help. Yeah. Yeah. Is all, is all yeah. You, is I have mind. a consult at 11, so. Is that, yeah, and someone that you've opted out for, you've reached out for? 
Is that someone, sorry, was that someone you reached out for? Yeah, well, there you go. So I want you to go there and offer it to them. And even if they say no, that's fine. Cool. Add them to the database, add them to social media. They're part of that slow burn list. Yeah. And then you go, Ray said, what Ray said, yeah. You see, did you only that? Uh, could you see yourself working out like that? But then, yeah, present. But I think I know what you mean from the first bit. Um, but yeah, exactly. Just She's just worded different to what I said. You know, did you like, did you enjoy doing that? Blah, blah, blah. It's all there. But yeah, I understand where you're coming from. I used to be there. It's just that shift. And yeah, as I said, they've rocked up. You know, they want some sort of help. You're just offering them more help than what the investment would be if they want to continue it. Yeah, if they say no, they say no, cool. But once you get over that hurdle, you keep doing it, you keep doing it. That thought will always be there. You just want to quiet it down a little bit until it's such a small thought. You're like, oh yeah, that thought's there, but whatever, I'm still going to sell them. Eventually, it's, always, it's going to start off big. This is how it is. You just want to keep doing it, keep doing it until that anxiety becomes, you know, so small that you, you don't concern yourself with it. You know what I mean? Yeah, all good. No worries, Brooke. Easy. Cool. No, awesome stuff. Uh, everyone else, what else is happening? Anyone, anyone come off mute? No one, no hands up. Or I'm just going to go around. Anyone from anything? Start going around, going once. Gone twice, gone three times. Fletch, how are you, bud? Are you going to Japan? Was it this week? Was it next week? I go, yeah, go on next week, man. Um, next week. On, on Thursday. So, yeah, the goal for this week is just going to be trying to get this guy on board to take at least, you know, I'll try and give him like 20 sessions, maybe one from each person, sort of thing. Yeah. Um, just so he can get to know everyone without me being there as yeah. well. Yeah, yeah. Um, basically, what Simon said in the leverage webinar is that I should pay him maybe twenty bucks an hour to train him. Yeah, and then just keep paying him. Oh, he he said something about like don't even worry if he's, if he's got his qualification yet or not. Like, don't even worry. Say that again. Sorry. He said he said don't worry if he doesn't have his qualification yet. No, no, it needs qualification because that's. I was gonna say, like, he's he like, well, maybe, maybe he's talking about the training. Maybe he's talking about the just training him. Maybe yeah, if he has yeah. Cert three, cert four, and he's training people, and yeah, that's yeah, that's a lawsuit waiting to happen or big yeah, trouble. Yeah, for sure. <clears throat> um, yeah, so but I, I got to get in contact with him this week. Um, yeah, it's all it's all just like I got, I got a plan. I just got to follow it. So. Yep. Um, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, gotta... I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm pretty crazy. But if it doesn't work out that he doesn't end up coming on board before I go to Japan, then I'll just I'll just earn and burn. I've actually lost a couple, like probably I've lost maybe five clients in the last couple of weeks because I've just been focused on and I've only gained one. I've just been focused on um, the whole leverage side of things. Yeah. Um I haven't really been doing much marketing for well, I've been doing maybe what one console a week. it hasn't been my priority. So yeah. Um I don't yeah. even want to. I don't want to do consults just before I go away either. Yeah, um, it's a bit tricky as well. Yeah, um, I think it's just like it's just so crazy at the moment. I just gotta, I just gotta deal with the punches, and then yeah, um, yeah just smash it on the other side of this and just uh, you yeah, know set it up so I can you know enjoy myself on the way. Yeah, well, you're about to go through a big business change with the leverage as yeah. well. Take a lot of your mental. Yeah. So once that happens, it'll be easy you do be a just knuckle down on marketing and pump it out as well yeah. so where we're at yeah. it's just following the plan and if this guy doesn't jump on in time whether well, you got the earn and burn you got a backup plan so we're in a good spot yeah yeah 100 um i don't I only need to earn and burn one week i'm going for 11 days but it's on it's over three weeks so it's like i'm only really going for one week yeah it's fine um yeah so oh we'll just see how it goes oh, cool we're sitting pretty awesome stuff yeah. easy no worries man Enjoy your trip if I don't see you before. Oh, it's next week. Yeah, That's yeah, it. for sure. Yeah, yeah. I'll um, I'll be on like leverage webinar and shit this week. Easy as man. Ray, I see your face. What's happening? Hey, how are you? Good. How are you? Can, can you hear me? Okay, because I'm in the center and there's lots of music playing. All good. You can hear. Um, I've I've just got to do. I've actually got to get more leads. Um, and I'm at going to Perth next month, so I'm. So. I need. I think I need to do the floor to the floor, um, but I don't want to sort of do that 
before I go away. Next month you're going away, yeah? Yes. So I'm going away on the 10th of June. Well, you got a whole month. you got plenty of time. Yeah, to, to do it and complete my the PT. Yeah, I always ran what my... About, yeah, okay. I, I'm just... I'm annoyed at myself for take for saying I would go over to Perth again. So that I guess because I'm leaving on a Tuesday and then probably coming back to Friday, so yeah. it's nearly two weeks. But I've got the weekend, so I'm going to push my clients to the weekend before, and then the weekend when I get back. So I've only got sort of one session on the, each week to catch up with them, like except for the golds. But you know what I mean. Um. It, so, okay, I'm, I'm just making up excuses, aren't I? I'm going to get back on the calls this week because uh, our PTM is back as well. So, but I only sort of getting about seven, seven or so consults a week. But I'll, I'll get on the calls and make sure I get to ten. And then if I don't do that, I'll try the floor to floor, which I have never done properly, by the way. I always have a little pack, like a quick, like the supplements pack or the hamper when I've, when I've done that. So, yeah, I haven't gone around myself and done it with the clipboard. Yeah, sounds like you know what you got to do is just putting some things off, putting yes. the hard stuff off, the busy work. Yeah, yeah, I am. Yeah, let's get it done. Yeah, you got a month, plenty of time. You can sign up heaps of people at that time. Worry about you know, earn and burn when that happens. Yes, yeah, you got a month away. Focus on now. Yeah, don't be. All right. I do it now, but then I'm gonna worry about this, and then I gotta worry about this. Nah, nah. I've had clients jump off. <clears throat> no, nah, I've had, I had a platinum jump off a few weeks ago because she had. Um, her appendicitis and she had to go and get her appendix out so 10 sessions a week awesome woman awesome woman um did a post about her recently anyway um the thought was well i can hold her spots because she's going to come back but it's like a six-week recovery and it was like 6 30 a.m monday to friday for an hour each time i was like i could hold her spots or do i fill them up and sign more people on no nah, i just sign them up sign them up put them on fill the spots and then when she comes back Worry about that then. She's like, okay, I want my times back then. Okay, well, I got to sort my sort my shit out. Yeah, yeah as I can that. sit in the nah, I got to leave these spots available because she'll she'll come back, and then I got to fit all these other clients around, and then 20 percent of them won't jump on because they can't have the time they want. Why about then? Six weeks time, I'll be leveraged as well, so I have a trainer on board. So oh, that will fix that problem. That will fix this. It always works out. It always works yeah. out. Yeah. So you'll still be standing. You'll still be running around. It'll work out. Last time I went away, I lost seven sessions. So, yeah. yeah. And um, and then it took me a little It took me a little bit to get back. And then, so I've gone ahead and then, I guess I've got that in the back of my mind too, which I shouldn't be like that because otherwise I'll stress out. But um, no, I'll, do, I'll just get more leads. I'll make sure I'm getting like minimum 10 consults each week, I think. Yeah. You're That's always, what my aim for. Yeah. Do it. Always get the consults. Even the week before you leave, just consults out. All right. consults out. And they're like, okay, well, let's start training. Actually, well, I'm leaving three weeks' time. However, sign up. I can this. put you on in three. I can start you in three weeks. Yeah, I would in get three that form out and be like, look, what I'm going to do is I'm still doing online coaching while I'm away. Yes. Fill out the form. First payment is going to come out in three weeks when I get back with our first session. But in those three weeks, we're going to set it all up. I'm going to coach you just online, get you my fitness power sorted, you know, trainer eyes mm. yeah for all that then they're locked in yeah instead of waiting right. three weeks for them to fill out the form then then they've forgotten about you they're like, actually no nah, i don't want it anymore fill them out yeah no all right i them. just won't focus i won't i'll just won't think of me going away because that's what i've been thinking of like yeah. just work around it you'll be fine yeah all right sell it, sell yeah it. No, that was my issue i just didn't realize until i said it out loud then that I, i've had that on my mind yeah <laughs> Uh, that's right oh but thank you that's good <laughs> anytime thanks easy, easy. no worries right enjoy sebi i can see your your pretty face what's happening my man hey brother i'm um just driving to a second club location this morning to go check out some numbers and have a chat to the manager and things like that so exciting it's cool yes yeah. so that's where we're at um i had one of the one of the staff in my gym yeah i think i'd actually told you on friday last week but his partner works in another local anytime fitness and there she's just let us know that there's absolutely no personal trainers in there it's just the manager handling pt sessions and she doesn't really want to be doing that so they've actually reached out to me to ask so that's why i'm going there this morning to go have a little bit of a, a chat see what's going on 
Oh, could be it could be a gold mine, as yeah, as it's put. Find out how many members are there, what the deal is. So do you, um so that's the manager. The manager's not the owner, are they? I'm not sure because the gyms just come under new ownership. So that's what I also want to find out if it's owner manager or, or what's yeah, what's the deal. I'm not sure on that one yet. Sure. Yeah, because with because they're franchises, you always want to try and get in hands with the owner with those kind of gyms because if you get good with them then you don't have to go through well out of respect you still want to go through the manager with those situations with things but um yeah but it's good to know the manager of course because i have a yeah this is how you want to be that sounds really good yeah so if if this one doesn't work out there is actually a couple other owner managed um anytime fitnesses around so I'm just going to go do a bit of recon this week and just go ask questions, find out a bit of information. So, yeah, that's pretty much my week. Oh, no, that's awesome. Good progress. Any times are good. I've not worked it in any time. However, how they run, we've had a lot of success with people in any times. If they execute correctly, because <clears throat> they're franchised, because it's just an owner. And depending on the area as well and the PTs, any, um, yeah, because they're franchised, because they you know the owner, you they they and you can get lead, name leads and stuff as well. Just how they run can be uh, good for a PT as well. Again, if the PT knows what they're doing, which of course, you know, we do. Um, so it could be quite, yeah, lucrative would be the word. Uh, yeah, just make sure you get to know the manager, get to know the owner and go from there, find out how many members are there. Um, yeah, cool. As always, don't go in saying, hey, I want this, 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 this. <laughs> Ease in. Oh, can I maybe do this? Maybe have that. Cool. All right. Is there anything else you want? Oh, maybe down the track. Yep. Going too hard, too fast. You're going to get a no where, you know, you play it a bit nicer, give them some stuff back, you know, you prove yourself as a PT. Okay. Yeah. Then we can give Sebi a bit more leniency. Yeah. We can give him this. Yeah. Let him do that. He's a good PT. Yep. I mean, I went too hard too soon in one location once asking about a pt i want to have a pt eventually like a staff member they're like nah not happening versus if i left it a few months i would have changed how i worded it instead of having a staff member said hey can we hire another pt i'm booked out um i just need a, a new pt that i can give sessions to they would have been oh yeah okay cool you can look into hiring them finding one that's fine but yeah because i went too hard too soon they knew it was just going to be a staff member through for me so i had to do it a bit differently. I ended up getting a PT on board, but just not telling them about it. Just made it look like they're just a fresh new PT joining the gym. Um, nothing to do with me when actually they were, you know, my PT. Anyway, but it worked out in the end. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Cool, cool. You know what you're doing. Rock and roll. Sweet. Cass, what's happening with you? How's life treating you? If you can hear me. Hello. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Oh my god, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, I'm I'm good. I'm good. I had a big weekend. Um had my hey. birthday. So Oh happy birthday. Thank you, thank you. I'm recovering from that. But yeah, still like I said on the leverage webinar the other day when you were listening in, just waiting for that contact from right away to get in touch with me. So at the moment I'm just setting up trainer eyes and doing some modules and stuff like that for doing behind the scenes work that I that I avoid doing. <laughs> Which right away are you looking at? Which one? The new one that's being built on Mano and that's ready in June. Oh, in Mano? Be... Yeah, yeah. So it's like literally five minutes down the road. All of my clients have said they're happy to jump over there. So fingers yeah. crossed I can secure a spot there. Yeah. Because, um, yeah, I know, I know the manager of, is it like Tramino or something? So that's with a T down near the city, the right away there. Yeah. So um, she's... Yeah. Yeah, she's speaking to the national manager for me and she's getting back to me. So nice. It, I'm surprised there's so much ring work to just be a PT at one of the gyms. I know it's a new gym being built, but it's a lot of yeah. like running around. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm like, oh, it's so frustrating because I thought it would have been a lot easier, but it's not. So I'm yeah. just playing the waiting game at the moment. Yeah, it's just interesting. Yeah. Do you know yeah. any? Right away, PTs. Um, I know. Oh, what's his name? We'll go down south. Uh, Mark. Mark McCormick. 
Yeah. So I had a um, word to him and he's like, yeah, we only just got, I think he's said a PT coordinator or, or a, a state manager or something like a week ago that he hasn't even got the number yet. So he's like, I'll try to get it for you. But then I ended up like getting in contact with the other manager. So that was yeah. a better contact yeah. there. Yeah, I was just surprised. Yeah, cool. Oh, well, you know what you're doing, of course. It's yeah. just a, a waiting game and bustling. You, so you're just training clients at the moment. You're getting any leads or referrals in any system at the moment? <clears throat> nah, just because Simon's like, don't advertise that you're working from home because then people are going to ask questions and ask why. Yeah. And he's like, you don't want to spread the word with what happened. Um, so, yeah, he said, just like, hold on two clients that you do have like I've had a few old clients come back so I've signed up a few since uh being at home without any advertising yep. at all just from like word of mouth from clients yeah so, cool. yeah so, given the situation you, you're in a good spot given the situation <clears throat> yeah exactly really. I have way more time for me really really convenient working from home after you know five years at Durham it's 13 hour days I'm like oh so nice being at home so I'm just using that as a little break. Yeah. Cool. No, no. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. good. Thank you. Give it up. And Sav, what's happening? If you can hear me, if she's there. Sometimes Sav doesn't. She's busy. I am here. <laughs> how are you? I was just cooking away. I'm good. How are you? I'm good. What are you cooking? Um, I'm doing a ragu. Oh, no. Nice. Yeah, it's too fancy. It's too fancy for me. Too fancy. <laughs> Yeah, I'm a big foodie, so I love my food. Nice. Now, my wife's the, the foodie. She's the nutritionist. She really? cooks. I always say the best thing I can cook is a mean wheat bix. That's about it. Mean wheat bix. Oh, that's right. Sweet bix is still good. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> how's everything going? Yeah, good. I think I'm noticing it's been good listening to today because I feel like my capacity can definitely be a lot better. Yep. Um, how do you mean? Uh, um. Well, I feel like. Right now, I'm up to 20 sessions a week. Cool. And I just want to get another 10, and then I can fully quit the cafe that I'm working at. Well, I'll probably get another five, and then I can fully quit the yeah. cafe. Yeah. Cool. Um, how much, if it's not too personal, how much are you bringing in working at the cafe? Um, it's so vague when you look at it, PT. Um, at the moment, it's like 500. Yeah, 500. And you're week. doing? Yeah. Yeah. And you're doing about 20 Three sessions. full days. Three full days, 500. Yeah, yeah. But it's still like safe income. Yeah, you're guaranteed these shifts and you're guaranteed mm. an X amount. Yeah. Mm. <clears throat> but PT, if you're doing 20 sessions, is that putting you a bit over a K between 1,000 to 1,500? Yeah, correct. So it's about one one. Yeah, it's pretty good. Um, so if you're there three days a week at the cafe, is that you're doing two or three days as PT or four days? Yeah, or doing four days PT. Yeah. And if you dropped one or two of those shifts, you know, that means you'd have to go harder as a PT. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. But you're, are you at capacity? You're almost at capacity or you've realized now you can do a bit more. Yeah. I've realized I can do a bit more. I've definitely got my more, my afternoons are all booked. I can't take any more clients in the afternoons, but my mornings, I have a lot more availability. I've definitely got slots. So I can feel for that. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Um, what gym are you at? I'm at um, EMF in the rain okay. in Queensland. Yeah, I'm Gold not West. familiar with EMF. And then just how their systems are. Um, but yeah, well, what? so when you want more leads, and what strategies are you running at the moment? Do you need, like, let me know where you're at. Because obviously it's one thing to say, I'm, I realize I'm not at capacity, but then it's like, okay, a couple of ways to go about this do some different marketing, new marketing, or um, what I always like to do is do something like drop a shift. So then you're like, okay, now I nearly push, nearly push myself because I've just dropped some guaranteed income, which is going to help me grind PT a bit harder. But there's two ways to go around that. Mm -hmm, for sure. Yeah, like at the moment for marketing, I'm not – we do inductions at EMS. So we get in front of new members that have to do an induction for them to get their like 24 hour little key pass. Yeah. So we put them through that and I have really good conversions to get into consults from that. Um, they're really pedantic with, I can't put lead boxes out. 
Um, they don't do posters or anything like that. They only have a TV screen that I can advertise on there. Um, so, yeah, that's so right now my marketing essentially is just the inductions. That's what I'm doing at the moment. Yeah. How many other PTs are doing inductions there? Um, probably I would say there's almost 20 PTs, but who take inductions, maybe six different ones. Okay. Yeah. So you six out of that. So you're getting about less than 20%, 15, to 18% of the people come through. Yeah. So <clears throat> like, do you think you could fill up your morning time just with what you're doing or do you need to do something more? I definitely need to do something more because the induction times, like it depends what slot people fill in. They may not pick my time slot. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Uh, you done or done doing floor to the floor at all? Um, I did floor to the floor not long ago. So I probably have to wait a little bit to do that again. Um, and with the call sheet, I did have a call sheet, but I was so bad. I, I left it for so long. And so I was like, yeah, you just fault blast them now. You don't, they're too they're not hot anymore I'm like okay so I need to get another call sheet but I just haven't done calls yeah yeah how many people are on that call short call sheet there was 60 60 is not no not bad but they all still members of the gym they're just gone cold yeah do you have a database uh well yeah slowly growing yeah how many people in the database uh like 120 20 plus that call sheet of 180 people something something um a couple of things you could go about it so obviously you're just relying on the current system which is the inductions to get more pts yeah and that's it yeah currently on that and also social media social media yeah so you get small passive cool all right so you can't do lead boxes you can't do posters okay first thing about the posters have you asked the gym manager owner if you could get a pin board up and then you could start just putting things on the pin board like a poster there that way and it's just that designated area is that a possibility i definitely i don't think so they're oh. very strict okay it makes it a bit harder cool all right no, that's fine um but in regards to getting some instant lead flow just to get some movement <clears throat> uh you could do a bulk blast but what i would do have you done a bulk blast before no i haven't oh, cool so i'm the one in the program, I do. I think I'm the only person that does a bulk class every week, every week to every oh. two weeks. So, um, what I you can do is, I would add if I was you, add those active members that that have gone cold to your database. Have you done that? Not yet. I'd add them. Definitely add mm -hmm. them. Add any names. You don't have any access to any other names in the gym at all. You can't get any access to. Active members, active members list. Could you do that? Mm, I can see. Yeah. See what I can do. Definitely ask. Say, hey, do, yeah. we, do we have a list of active members of the gym? And if they say yes, definitely ask, hey, look, would I be able to have um, access to those people? I know we got a script that's in the program, so we could make sure that you've got access to that. But yeah, if you can get active members lists, listen, you can start calling them up. For example, you could say, hey, I just want to get an active list for active members. So anyone that has a happy birthday, I can, you know, send them a message, happy birthday, and offer them as a happy birthday. So offering, offering them like a free PT session. And but make it look like it comes from the facility. So we're giving our members more, you know, increasing, you know, retention. You could do that. Mm -hmm. as a way of why you want the active members list so it's not just how hey, an active members list that way you, you're doing something for them making sure the members get something but <clears throat> if they say yes do you getting the active members list add them to your database and then do a bulk blast with that um, we do have a bulk blast strategy in the uh, if I, i'll go to get it get it up but if you have access to that um yeah we've got a bulk blast strategy where essentially you're just giving out it's a competition run the competition and it's essentially as a hey you know um uh savit rpt here at efm is running a competition you know essentially you could do like floor to the floor but in a text message format bulk blast but it's um you're trying to create urgency and it's hey sav running a competition win x 
Oh, and this win maybe make it more exciting. You can win like a kilo of protein powder and six weeks competition with Sav of uh, transformation. Oh, cool. That sounds good. Um, first 10 people or five people to respond to this message um, will get entered. Or for, yeah, first mm. people to respond will get entered. And then make sure you do it at a time of the day where people tend to have their phone more that afternoon time. Yeah, send mm -hmm. it. And then whoever responds, everyone's a winner. You know, everyone was in the top five. If you get 30 responses, hey, you're in the top five. You go in the top five. And when suits you to, you know, meet up in the gym. Mm -hmm. and that. Um, mind you, if you're doing the protein thing, make it like the main winner wins the protein. And then, but yeah, we, not everyone. Yeah, not everyone who's spending all this money. Um, but yeah, that's what you could do. I've done it before with quite a bit of success. Mind you, the bigger your database, the more people you're going to respond. You know, if you only have mm. a database of 50 people, you might only have five or 10 respond or 20 max. Yeah. Mm. Um, so that's just what to consider. That's why you're trying to make your list as big as possible. Bog Blast. Bog Blast is just like that instant. It's one of those instant fixes. You're going to get some leads that um, you can convert pretty quickly. Yeah, it's not mm. like the poster power or the lead box, which is a slow burn. Like it just it mm. sits there and you just get leads coming in slowly where bulk blast is instant bang and it'll give you mm. some. That'd be, I'd look into that, just looking into your situation. Yeah, yeah. Um, also, would you, do you have an emailing list? Like I was looking to create an emailing list where I can give like weekly value and then have like offers as well. Yeah, as in, is that something that you do? Assist it, or me personally? Yeah, I don't do the emails. No, we can do it. I just never did it. I, I'm one of those people. I look at it, my, me personally. I get all these emails. They just go straight to my spam. I mm. emails that come through to me are primary ones that I've said. Yep, people that I know. Um, mm. the others go straight to spam. So that's why personally I don't do the emails. That's not to say it wouldn't work. Because, yeah, it might, but text messages, bolt blast, everyone gets a text message. Everyone's going to look at it. It's safe. It's, you know, it's not someone calling you, but a text message, what's this? Oh, okay, blah, blah, blah. Okay, that's interesting. Where email, people, half people don't check the emails and half go straight to spam. Hmm. My personal belief. Yeah. I'll say it doesn't work. Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. Cool. So I would go speak to your manager about... Uh, hey, do we have an active members list? Um, I was thinking of doing like a birthday strategy. Uh, can I have access to this? So they're more likely to say yes. If they say no, then you've got to add those 60 names anyway. And I'd go down the bulk blast route for now. Okay, awesome. Thank you. Easy as Sam, anytime. Cool. I think that's about everyone. I think we've rock and roll and we've wrapped it up nicely on time. Well done, efficiency. Um, I'm going to do my usual. If there's anything else, anyone want any questions at all, let me know now uh, or withhold your peace. I'm going to do gone once, gone twice, gone three times. Done. All right, guys. Well done. Uh, everyone have a good week. Let's get into it. I hope that helps out a lot of people. And we'll see you tomorrow for the next webinar. All right. Rock and roll. Let's get it done.